So my grandfather started the business in 1929 as an ingredient manufacturer. So that means that our ingredients have been in people's rec customers' recipes for like over 100 years. As we grew that, I started going back to school because I wanted to make candy. And my grandmother Riley, we grew up on toffee. And it's her English toffee recipe that we use. And that's the bones of my business. So we put up three walls and it was 300, 300 square feet. That's all it is. So now we have no sign, we have no awning, we have no marketing, and people are walking in the door. They had this little pocket store carved out of that um, factory, and it's really special, you know? Um, you could tell it was like a passion project for Julia, and after 20-some years, they had grown such a client base that it was like time to kind of pursue this next chapter. When we met Amy, she and her team were just really creative enough to say, hey, we gotta hear what you guys want, we wanna see what you look like, and then we wanna see where you wanna go. They came to the factory, they spent time looking at what we do. They came and watched my kitchen work. They watched how the store opted every detail in the store. They all saw who we kind of were. What we really wanted to get our arms around was like the brand, you know, like what, what do they want to convey to their customers? How do they want customers to feel when they enter the space? We have a ways to buy something and, and then know that when you eat it, it's going to taste as good as it looks. When you think candy store, the obvious or more cliche move is to go with kind of a whimsical feel or something that's a little bit more juvenile. And we wanted to kind of do the opposite, you know, because I think Burke is a really elegant brand. Just beyond the retail area, we call it our social space. Really talking to Julia and Catherine, the thing that kind of came out is Julia's favorite color in the world is, is green. What we loved about the green that she loves, it's not like a safe green. It's not middle of the road. She loves like bright, verdant green. We took a 7 8 inch grill grain ribbon and we lined all the edges of the walls in green, which is a direct nod to how the Burks wrap all of their packaging. The green's not a color that people expect, The green's my favorite color. So the fact that we're able to incorporate this kind of green, it, it's exciting. So instead of just doing like a typical rectangular opening between spaces, we did arched openings, you know, which are very elegant. And I think it adds such charm to that area. So there's all these traditional elements, but we also kind of kept it fresh and bright and new due to that, that vibrant green. Those archways, which are, are really elegant, but pretty simple. And I think all of it just helps the space unfold in the right order. We started 25 years ago, we've grown, we learned, we went to school, and we've created really good chocolates. And it is just a treat to make sure that we've been able to do it right every day, have fun doing it, and having people want it. I mean, there's no greater gift. Our clients work really hard in their businesses and in life and like when they walk in the door, we really want them to feel joy, to be comforted or excited or calmed or whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish. That's what we want their interior to, to do for them. This is who I am. I mean, this is, and this is, this emulates what I am and what our family is. And, and, I, and that's the thing I think that Amy captured. And I don't know how, you know, in some ways I feel like, how did she see that? But she saw it. But I do think this is very much Burke. This is Burke to me.